Welcome back to Operation Little Whale. Uh, this is a tip-off mission we got from a bunch of local gang members who want us to knock over a store or something. Luckily, doing so is also going to stop the advent from marshalling out their new product, which is faceless in every mission. I don't want that very much, so by destroying this relay, we should be able to shut that dark event down. Let's hit the turf and let's uh, have some gang warfare. Communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Squad concealment active. All right, let's make some good time on this one because that objective is considerably far away. If I do say so myself. Let's move through the playground if we can. Moving on target location. Tut, 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 tut. No cover, huh? Screw it. Jamble. Roll up here. Got it covered. Eagle Rush will move through. No need to ask twice. The playground, I think. Will do. Move, move, move. In position. I hear snakes out there. I hate snakes. I hate snakes, Jock. I hate them. Okay, Jamble. Come on, open this. Moving to position. Opens. Go, go, go. Moving. Contact. Enemy squad located. Not that close. 11 o'clock beyond the frog and horse toys. Alright, we'll barge our way through these guys and then hopefully set up a firing position that can help us take out uh, that objective. Heading to that location. Moving out. Got it covered. Time to motor. In position. Alright, these chumps are toddling along. Good for them. We want to take these guys out, preferably with a grenade to start, I think. What's the size of a grenadier flashbang? Huh, is that any bigger than normal? I wonder. It looks a little bit bigger than normal. Probably move in with Martini or Kilroy here. Start the grenade action off with a bang. Understood. Moving out. Let's just check that right side, though, to make sure we're not about to draw a whole lot of hell uh, towards us. Closing on target position now. No, nope, we look good. Once you hit him with a grenade. Take this! Grenade's good to start on these guys because we're going to hit all of them, plus the Viper hopefully will take full damage from the grenade. Whereas they often like to dodge shots, so it's good to use grenades on them anyway. We're probably going to use a grenade at some point anyway on them. And we're three grenadiers, so we have plenty of grenades to throw around. Viper is not happy. Viper cometh. Okay, now Beagle can take out this guy on the right, no problem. Jill, we're going to want you to shotgun this person. Jamble can lightning hands. Probably lightning hands to stun lines to the death. If not, ghost finishes him off. Okay. That's a wrap, people. Let's make this happen. Rolling. Give him a little bit of grenade. What we should do is run you right up so you've got a really close range shot. Moving to designated position. 61, 94. This guy's fucking dead as hell. 58. You could feasibly get both of these people. Uh, aliens. You could feasibly get both of these aliens. You're especially likely to get at least one of them here. The best case is... Jamble kills both of these lobies, and then Ghost finishes off the Stun Lancer. I think Ghost has to act no matter what, so Ghost will kill the Stun Lancer, 100% guaranteed. 
if we can just finish off these chumps. So Jam will take a lightning hands. Ah, fucking vipers and their goddamn dodge bullshit. I might have winged them. There we go. There we go. Wait, great job. Good, good job. Bang. Silly me. Now what we wanna do is run and gun up and play it cool and shoot this advent. Roger that. Play it cool. If you run and gun your Going deck up to this kill. position, Here I come. up to the woozy watsy. They see me. All right, now you're up at the woozy watsy. You can take an Overwatch, and if he tries to run. Bam! Right in his dumb face. But he should just overwatch and return now that he's scared, I think. Yep. And that's what you call a mindfuck. I don't know, call it what you want, really. The point is I'm gonna kill this guy. So... Boom. Goes the dynamite. You are dead. You can't handle me! She says as she litters a shotgun slug. Onto a children's playground. Now that's what I call edgy. Okay, but we need to make better time towards the objective here. We're running out of time. I think we're gonna have to dash up to this wall. Take it out next turn. Moving on target location. Orders confirmed. Let's just get moving because we're gonna have to take this objective fast. Let's do this. The more I look at this, gonna take this objective real fast. Scanning. Overwatch. Come get some. Affirmative covering now. Finally. Hubba 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 hubba. Let's go 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 go. Heading to that location. Heading there now. Finally. Get the cover. Get the cover. Moving in. Get the cover. On my way. All right, we're on track. On Overwatch. We are in the, the pipe. Five by five. Still active, and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Don't sweat it, Bradford. I got three grenadiers. I think we're going to reveal by moving out to here, but that does not matter much. Doesn't really matter to me. To me. Position confirmed. Unless they're on my right. Okay, we got spot right there. What you doing? We cluster in? No, we spread and we smart. We smart vent. We smart vent now. Oh, not smart vent enough though, unfortunately. That is a shame. Throw a grenade. Unless there's another pod in the back room you're not telling me about. That is a shame. Show sure doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Martini, move yourself up. On the move. Ghost, can you get a shotgun on this stun lance chump over here? You know what? Fuck it, I don't even care. Martini can't even uh, do that, so don't worry about it. In fact, I think I don't even need a grenade here. Roger that. I forgot my sweet darling Jamble. No, she hasn't got lightning hands though, unfortunately. But she can engage. Okay, so one revolver shot, and then a grenade will finish these two off. No problem, bruh. But then I'm still left with, how do I, that's going to be you and you. That's only going to leave Jill Martin and Alicia Suarez left. Okay, worst case, Martin can flashbang. So, I'm going to take the pistol shot. Oh, you just, what? Four damage, Jesus Christ. Not okay. Not alright. Okay, if Beagle Rush and Ghost tag team this last Lancer, he cannot live, so... Yeah, we can just probably kill this other Stun Lancer now, unless we miss. Nope! You are so dead! You're all so dead! 
We're moving in. 79 is good, but you know what's better? Guaranteed kills. Yeah. Tired of waiting around. Let's roll up. I love having three grenadiers, don't you? Isn't it fun? I'm gonna roll up. I'm gonna drop a grenade on this dude's face. Throwing grenade! Dee 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 dee. You are dead. How many is that now? Go look at his body go. His hips are moving on their own. Oh, they've stopped now. Lucky for him. Okay, let's get Kilray in picking up the loot. Scope, PCS Advanced Agility, and a goddamn laser sight. That's a good haul, motherfuckers. Got some goods here. Got some damn good goods. Confirmed. Can you see the transmitter, Martin? Not yet. We're getting there. Let's do this. Little by little. We're near the objective. There you go. Got that transmitter dead to rights. Closing on target position now. Here I come. Between you and Jamble, you guys got it covered. Or even Beagle. Beagle, take a shot. Everybody duck. I'm about to do some remodeling. Alright, and then Jamble can finish it off. Fuck you, cat scan machine. Or whatever you are. Get out of this hospital. That's gonna let us overwatch. Destruction of the relay. Overwatch. The transmission and is overwatch. Down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Because I hear snakes in this building. And I have had it with these goddamn snakes in this goddamn building. So we're gonna come around the side. I'm on the move. On my way. We're gonna sneak around these snakes. Finally! Moving to designated position. Let's move already. On I'm, on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Scanning. They're flanking my position! Hello, snakes. I knew you'd use that door. Look at you cheat. That's what you get for cheating through a door. Bad dog. Bad snake. Bad, bad, bad snake. No, that's a bad snake. Bad, bad snake. You coil yourself on your shame. Yeah, I didn't get it. Who's keeping score? Sometimes... Sometimes people ask Beagle, why do you never, like, reload, even when you're low on ammo and there's no enemies around? It's because there's always enemies around, you just haven't seen them walk through the door yet. You always have to be ready for the enemies. They're always coming. I think it is high time we killed these people. Good little shot. Moving. Hey. Hey. Hey, I wanted you to die. Okay. Good riddance. Shotgun. Uh oh. Here comes another advent earthquake. <laughs> He's not feeling very well. Fuck books. Fuck Advent 2. Fuck hospitals. Enemy destroyed. Fuck snakes. Fuck cat scan machines. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Did you know that Overwatch is a powerful ability? I did. Operation Little Whale is complete. Operation Little Wayne, which I accomplished for the uh, for the gangland people. Shout out to my thugs. Every time I hear about you guys dying in the new Arctic, I... I cry thug tears. But I'm glad I could help. Just this once. Now I'm leaving forever. <laughs> but hey, thanks for the rewards. Real glad Faceless aren't in my immediate future anymore. That's a good sign. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. No, I, I wouldn't imagine so, Ivor Bradford. High fives and clink spottles together. Okay. Jamble's got the promotion to lieutenant. 
Uh, that is going to put her having death from above or quick draw as a gunslinger focused person. She, of course, will be interested in quick draw. Firing of the pistol uh, as your first action no longer ends your turn. So basically, this makes um, this makes you like an infantry from Long War. You can shoot with your pistol twice in one turn. With lightning hands, that goes up to three times. So it's pretty good ability. Jamble is only going to... Uh, I, I love it. Look at this. 23 kills, 22. They're so neck and neck. Suarez and Jamble are so neck and neck. Which is impressive considering Suarez is invisible half the missions. Neck and neck. We're gonna dodge PCS. We've got another scope. And we got a laser sight, which will be great for the shotgun. For the third time, Tigan's like, Jesus fucking Christ, Commander, if you don't autopsy this Viper, I swear to God, if you just sell these, these corpses again, I'm gonna be so mad. So, look at my fucking face, Commander. This isn't even a quarter of how mad I'll be. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. We are rolling in the Benjamins. I'm a happy chappy. Commander? Ladies? Alright. We're still waiting for stuff to get built around here. Excuse me. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. That's just rude, really, Lily. That's just really lewd. Rude. Rude, lewd. Rude. Our work is proceeding as expected, Commander. Excellent. Mag weapon's only four days away. This Commander, pleases me. The aliens have made significant progress but. towards their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Another facility, but I need that intel to take the other facilities afterwards. If I go and grab this intel, then I can go make contact of Eastern Europe and Eastern Africa, one after the other. Then, how are we going to get to NA? Perhaps if I make contact with East Asia? No. We would have to... Shit. We would have to go through Europe, I think, which... Oh no, we can't. Fuck. Well, we're going through Eastern Europe anyway to make contact with South Africa. After that, we can make contact with South America and then push north to that facility. But it's not going to be quick and it's not going to be good. Uh, we need to go and get that Scorched Earth intel so then we can push towards this first facility uh, and start to think about taking these things out. Go ahead and hit that Scorched Earth up, I think. Avenger plotting new course. But we really need to get on the black site and on the facilities. And we're about to do that. Oh! No rest for the wicked. Okay, so now we can get another engineer. Or we can get more supplies and counter the one block of avatar progress. Again, I feel like I'd rather do this one and get the extra engineer, but... You know, what the fuck are you going to do about it? I'm going to get the supplies instead. I can buy an engineer with, an engineer with that next month. And I'm going to counter the avatar project. And it's a protector device, so it's as easy as breathing. Killing's as easy as breathing on these protector device missions, generally. Setting course so for the Arctic. It. More money for the war machine. I love it. Pretty sure the three grenadier strat works for pretty quick missions, so we're going to go ahead and stick with that for right now. I do, however, want to see about potentially buying that training school upgrade. Yes, integrated warfare. God, that's expensive, but important. That will give Beagle more health than Jesus, and also add a bunch of dodge to that PCS. I mean, we need it at some point anyway. May as well get it going. Although, with, with mag weapons coming... Hello, Commander. With mag weapons coming and the amount of buildings I'm about to need to build, perhaps spending all my money on that guerrilla training talent is not necessary at this point, when I'm not even taking wounds in most of these missions anyway. But I am about to get another 200 supplies from this mission as well. Plus, by clearing alien machinery and alien debris, I'm about to get more supplies. Yeah, no, we're, we're rolling in the Benjamins. Buy it. Bye, bye, bye. Integrated Warfare, so that's going to boost up the bonus I get for my PCSs. For example, if we go to Beagle, we can see, uh, well, it still says he has plus two, but I know for a fact it's probably given him a plus, extra plus one. He probably had nine before, now he has ten, I'd imagine. I don't know, I wasn't keeping score. Uh, but that is good. Who do we want to stick dodge on as a stat? I wonder. 
Uh, not Suarez. She wants mobility. You want aim. You want aim and you want aim. None of you want dodge, really. Well, if none of you want dodge, I mean, fuck it. Just put it on Martin. May as well put it on... I'll just sell it. I'll just sell it. Fuck it. I'll sell it at the black market. I'll make a killing. Weapon upgrades, though. Scope and laser sight. All right. Now, the laser sight's going to go on that shotgun of the hair trigger just as soon as we get mag weapons. Until then, it's got to stay off. But we do have another scope to stick onto something. I don't really want to stick that scope onto anyone just yet. I want to keep that around for once we hit mag weapons. I'm going to stick that onto uh, Bone Daddy's weapon, I think. So we're going to keep those upgrades for now. We're going to keep everything under our hat for right now, I think. And we're going to go with what we've got, which is the exact same loadout as last mission, except this time it's Protector the Vice, so it should, hopefully, be even easier. Let's see if I'm right. Steel Killer. Word has it the Resistance has been pulling data critical to the aliens' latest project from the Advent Network using something they rigged up in this area. As far as we can tell, the aliens have figured out what's going on and they're sending reinforcements in to destroy the device. We're moving in to secure the area and protect the device before they manage to take it out. All right. Operation Steel Killer, we're going into Blood Park, Novgorod. We visit this city a lot, man. Um, to try and stop the advent from destroying our device. Join me next time for that one. Until then, have a good one.